Welcome back to Ansible's. It looks like MDIA had a major breakout today. They got halted multiple times throughout the day, and we did have a major breakout throughout the day. So I want to make sure we do go over exactly what has to happen for us to continue and exactly where you guys can find these breakout alerts so you guys do not miss out on them again. And all I ask in return is you guys smash that like button and hit subscribe if you guys want to see more chart updates on potential breakouts that we mentioned throughout the week. So let's jump into this one. So I'm going to go over MDIA with you guys here on the five minute chart and exactly what has to happen for us to continue. Again, we had a major breakout with MDIA previously. So I want to make sure we do cover this as we could have a continuation and major breakout and exactly what has to happen for us to continue. And towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys exactly where I would alert this one. So that way you guys do not miss out on this one and also how to alert this one as a lot of people have been asking how to alert exactly on trading view. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to alert on the MACD and on the volume. So you guys cannot miss out on these breakouts ever again. And also for everybody that is in the intervals room, we do mention news throughout the day and this would be something that would be very helpful in my opinion for these breakouts and to make sure we do set those alerts very early in the morning so that way you guys do not miss out on any of these plays and before we get started i want to mention that we did alert mdia since this morning around 7 32 a.m and we mentioned them since around 8 26 and we have been breaking out since then and also we did mention zeb since this morning at 504 a.m again they had major news with their contract with zeb technologies looking to see if we can continue there as well i did mention that one in the video two or three videos ago and we also did mention fulc on their major breakout since the news they did mention this morning around 6 23 a.m and we had about a 180 percent breakout since then and we're going to look to see if we can continue with those as well we also did mention ahpi on their major breakout again that was a mass play we've been mentioning them for quite a while and we finally had a major breakout today up about 50 percent and we mentioned them on their volume spike as you guys can see here so again with that said if you guys want to see all our penny stock breakout alerts of the day go to instables.com in the description below you guys will never miss a penny stock breakout alert through it again. So, and I really wanted to tackle MDIA with you guys here because MDIA has been halting throughout the week and we finally got a continuation with MDIA and I'm going to show you guys exactly what we're looking out for on a continuation. And as you guys can see, we have been bouncing off the 20 to moving average throughout the day. And you guys can see we got that confirmation on that continuation sell off when we broke below the 20 to moving average. And also we did drop below the 50 to moving average showing us that we may have a continuation sell off. But however, we did hold up and it looks like we bounced back above the 20 to moving average with the 20 to moving average still above the 50 showing us that we could have continued. And that's exactly what did happen. So we're testing the 20 to moving average to see if we can get volume in my opinion. So I'm going to back up to the four hour chart so you guys can see what we're looking at overall so you guys can see here previously we did have a major resistance that we could not hold the body of the candle above and that's here at 12 dollars so in my opinion going to tomorrow if we want to have a continuation a major breakout we want to break over 12 dollars but not only 12 dollars i want to make sure we do get confirmation on this so i would be setting a volume alert above this previous volume point so that way if we do break into this wick again we will not get rejected we did have this previously with mbis had a major breakout last year we had a large wick and we broke into it and we actually had the major breakout but we did get volume confirmation so setting that volume alert would be very key so i'm going to go up here to the left as you guys can see here on the volume alert we're going to set this volume alert by clicking the three data lines here on the volume and clicking add alert and then we're going to grab this alert we're going to put it right above our previous volume point so that way if it does break into this volume point and does give us that momentum to have that major breakout again holding above this 12 dollars mark and again breaking into this wick to have that continuation we do need momentum in my opinion so again we do want to make sure it does break into this price with volume in my opinion and we also do have the macd here that we could set an alert here for as well we're going to be setting an alert here right above the macd if you come over to the right here you click this plus sign here and then you put it right above your macd point here so that way if it does break above it then it will show us that bullish momentum and again this is not financial advice this is only what i'm doing but as you guys can see here on mdia on the four hour we're going to be looking to see if we can continue on up i do like how the 20 to moving average is curling up showing us that we could continue but again there is no news with mdia and we did have this major breakout previously on about a 100 percent breakout that we did alert as well um, but however as you guys can see we are looking to see if we can break over 12 dollars again without volume but if we can get volume or buy pressure again that could happen if we get some hype into the stock some way or another based on the setup again we do have a nice setup that could give us a nice continuation but again mdia only on the watch to make sure we do get confirmation on this volume and on this buy pressure and again if you guys see all this news that we post every morning during pre-market then i would be setting my volume alerts buy pressure alerts and especially these price action alerts you click the same thing you come over to this plus sign here on the alert and you click add alert and then you could put that alert right above your previous resistance that you're looking for here. So in my opinion, that would be around $12. So 
We will be getting alerted if it does break over $12, but I like the volume and the buy pressure points a little better because that actually shows us more momentum other than the price action. Again, sometimes the price action likes to spike up without the volume, which shows us an overextension, showing us that the stock may cool down. And that's exactly how we do find those volume points when the stock does start to cool off. And then we do mention throughout the day. With that said, if you guys want to see all of our penny stock breakout alerts throughout the day, go to instables.com in the description below. And you guys will never miss a penny stock breakout alert that it again. And everybody that has been supporting the channel and everybody that has been in the comment section, I appreciate it everyone you guys as always much love to you guys and if you guys do like this video it does help other people find it and it does help the channel grow and i do appreciate it very much and again god bless you all and i'll see you guys in the next video